Hey, 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 hey. Happy anniversary. Happy to anniversary us. to us, Shay and Trill. One year anniversary. One year. Oh. You know the deal. deal hey, we are celebrating. We are here on location. Where yes. are we at? What is the name of this place? Garner. We're in Garner. What's the name of this? She just want to say Garner. So we're in Garner. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> She don't want well, to know where she lives. There, and there it is. There. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Respect that. So glad y'all have joined us. Hey, Trill, we've been doing this thing for a year now, girl. To the Going to date. This is actually June 23rd. Yeah. Up to the exact date for yeah. our year today. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we are so blessed. Yes, we are we honored. Are. We are humbled that the Lord has saw fit for us to yes. bring to you real conversations about real mm -hmm. issues, talking about real people yes. for 365 Ooh. days. Okay. And not having to do repeat. Okay. Hey, that's Fresh right. topic or every time. Runs. Okay. Hey. Yes. So, Jada, <laughs> eat your heart out. That's <laughs> right, girl. I ain't hating on you. That's we all right. That's your table talk, too. Mm -hmm. But um, we are excited. We have some special guests in the studio yes. today. We, won't you introduce our guest? Yeah, I'll introduce your mom my mom. Yes. yes, we have my mommy here today. Yes. This is the birthing place where I came from, where I get a lot of my gifts and my talents, my personality, and who I am. All it's right, my right, mommy. Right. So I let right. her say a little quick something. It's a pleasure just to be here with these young ladies oh. and to be able to partake in what they have been doing for one year. Awesome. Yes. And she it. has her shirt on. Yes, yes she, she does. does. Yes. yes, she does. Look yes, at her. Does. Yes, she does. <laughs> and then we have a very dear friend of mine, Miss <laughs> Sway, 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 Sway. 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 Sway is in the building. Yes. Sway says she wanted to come and celebrate with us. So Miss Sway Akatree is here today. So welcome to the studio. Yeah, she is so supportive. Yes, she is. And she comments too. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. We have some other guests in the studio, but they don't want to be seen today. Well, you say you're gonna do a quick pop in. To say Cameo. Hi. Yes, come on. This is our behind the scene lady. She's the one that gave us our new filter hey, to go on yes, our camera. Yes, 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 yes. That's Lady Tanya. And then we have a young viewer today. You're gonna miss Consuela. Come, come on, on Consuela. Come, come on. on. This Yay. is Sway's baby girl. Hey, Consuela. Yes, so Consuela is in the building, and my baby girl just joined. Oh, the broadcast. Hey, hey baby girl, and Shanae. And we had Deanne Surrett, and her husband came by early, Alan Surrett, and they purchased a, one of our nice sporta bottles. Yes, you see them. We have them in yes. white and gold. Would you grab a Because the black one? sold out. The black are already sold out. Yes, yes. She know I have a hard time no, with this. Let me help her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. now, this is the gold. <laughs> And this, is, no. and this is the white. Yes, okay. the black went quick. And those were the ones with the guys logo on it. Yes. Yes. So we, we'll have some more. These mm -hmm. go for $20. Support us, okay? Yes. Support us. Support us. All right. So, Trill, it's, instead of it being Friday, Friday. it's Saturday. So, yes. we're going to Pull sing it. You know, it's Saturday instead of Friday, so y'all just sing along with us. All right. It's Friday. Mm. <laughs> no, it ain't. It's not Friday. It's Saturday. She's okay. going off her game. Yeah. <laughs> it's Saturday. You know the deal. It's Saturday. So celebrate with I'll See, I don't mess up. See, that's what you get for messing with me. Talk about me. Celebrate okay. with Shady and Trill. Okay. It's Saturday. You know the deal. It's Saturday. Celebrate with, with Shady and Trill. It's Saturday. So let's talk. Let's talk for real. Let's talk with Shady and Trill. Let's talk. Let's talk for real. Let's talk. Let's talk for real. Hey, everybody. That needs to be a blooper. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. yes, yes. 
start singing a song, yes, though. Yes, she was. Yes, she was. <laughs> oh, man. Hey. Yes. We are here on location in Ghana, North mm-hmm. Carolina for our one-year anniversary. I tell yes. you, it has been a stone glass, honey. I'm telling you, it has. Girl, don't talk about Don so age. God rest his soul. <laughs> but we have had a ball. Yes. We have I'm telling you, we have talked about so, so many, topics many topics over the years, yes. over this past year, mm-hmm. and man, we have had some great topics. Yeah, Deanne we? said that some of our topics were just like we were right there in her house to the point that wow. she had to turn around and was like, where is Trill and Shay? Wow. Because we were walking in her house with some of the stuff that she was going through, but that's what that's why... Let's talk for real is so important because yeah. we talk about topics to everybody, uh, you know, things that people are going through, right? And they think they're going through them by themselves. But I, yay, there's the end. I right sent right your there. shout out, girl. <laughs> hey, I missed you, but yes. thank you so much for stopping by with you and your husband. Mm-hmm. We really do appreciate your support. That's so, what can you say one of your um, best topics were? this year oh my goodness I oh know. my god we've had so many so last week oh yeah role reversal was really really good mm-hmm. um oh uh option instead of a priority mm-hmm. are you an option or are you a priority yeah um perks without the work oh I yeah mean, that was just, one of my favorites I mean, <laughs> Girl, that was a good one. Why it it was. Works about the works. Man, so many trips. Mm-hmm. We had so many topics. What about our guests? What were some of your um, favorite topics? There was not a topic that I did not like. Okay. Wow. All of them was. Even if I don't have a man, I know it's me. All of them was to the point where it was really helpful. Good, good. Thank good. you, Sway Sway. Thanks, Sway. What about you, that. mommy? Well, I had no favorite either because <laughs> all of them fit in occasionally. You know, sometimes find ourselves in. And so it gives you a better insight on how to deal with uh, a lot of different things that we have to go through as children of God and, and, and those that want to get to know who God is, you know. And it helps. Mm-hmm. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What about you, Trill? I think the very first one about yeah. uh, holding your holding position, your position and your talking about yeah until mm-hmm. your change come and just the the blessing of that illustration that God gave with the lizard and the, the praying, praying mantis yeah. because that's awesome. what launched everything for us and yeah. it shifted us into position and then the one we had at the beach um the one that you did um oh um, man the one that we lost that one? No, not the one that we lost. The the one that uh, was talking about the the master manipulator. Oh yeah, yes, oh, yes. the master manipulator. Yes, we guys. all dealt with somebody that yeah. has come into our life that have deceived us at some point based on we thinking that they're one person and they're something some somebody totally different. And that's just not relationship wise, friendship wise, and everything. So I really love that one too because that one got a lot of good views too. Yeah, it did. It did. Um, mm-hmm. we have a a thousand views. Oh know. yeah, yeah. So we had some awesome topics, mm-hmm. but today, so Trill and I were kind of torn. We were thinking about doing a part two of the role reversal, but then there was a question that I had asked Trill. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's probably been maybe a month or so ago now. It was actually on. Um, you brought it up again on the role reversal. Oh yeah, yeah. about. Um, I asked her a question about her being married. I asked oh, her, okay. did she get married for pleasure or purpose? Mm-hmm. And her response was, I got married for purpose. Because right. I said if it was left up to pleasure, I would have left that joke a long time ago. <laughs> right, right, right. Just right. keep it real. Right, right, right. Because <laughs> this is best call for real. Yes. Which yet? And yes, truth. but I'm so glad that I held on the purpose and didn't think about pleasure because then I would have missed that blessing that God had for me on Father's Day, people, because he gave his life to the Lord. Hey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Praise God for that. We do, we do honor the Lord mm-hmm. for that. So, so many um, individuals that I talked to, I really believe that um, they were they got married because of pleasure. Yes. Mm -hmm. And even the ones who say they got married for purpose, Mm -hmm. 
you have to know what you're talking about when yes. you say you got married for purpose. Mm -hmm. Because when you get married for purpose, divorce is not an option. Not an option. It's not an option. Mm -hmm. Divorce is not an option. So that means when you hit a valley, yes. although you're in the valley, mm -hmm. you know that you're not going to be consumed in the valley. Right. You know that because there had because you got married for purpose, that God has a plan and purpose for your mm -hmm. marriage. But so many times we say that we get married for purpose, and when mm -hmm. we hit a rough spot, Ooh, that flesh kick in real quick. That, that, Are we looking for the exit sign? Come on, that for better or Where worse. Where I sign it. You know, that, that, <laughs> you know, a lot of times people, they recite these vows and they mm -hmm. say for better or for worse. You don't want the, you don't want the worst. Mm -hmm. You just it's saying the that better. for the better, mm -hmm. for sickness. Uh, or, you know, in health. Don't you get you, sick you, you on don't, me. You don't want the sickness, mm -hmm. you know, for richer or poorer. You don't want to be poor. Mm -hmm. You know, if your husband loses his job or your wife lose her job and y'all mm -hmm. go through a downturn in your finances, you got to stick that thing out. When you have said, I do not just to the person, but you said, I do to God mm -hmm. about the person. Mm -hmm. And so when you hit that rough spot, that rough patch, you got to know that you got married for purpose and not pleasure. Y'all ladies want to interject? Well, that much is 100% true because the fact is if you know um, that flesh apart uh, is going to get old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's going to get... Uh, not usable sometimes. That's right. And so, but if you got the right, if you get married for the purpose of it, then that purpose will give you the ability to be able to, to stay in it for the long haul. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's like, you know, when you're traveling on a, on a smooth road sometimes and you know how you run into a bumpy one, mm -hmm. you know, it's supposed to be uncomfortable. So those, those, those times when it's uncomfortable, that's when you have to Keep your hand on the wheel and stay on in there. Mm -hmm. All right. That's right. So we got some comments. So Deanne said, and when we were talking about the topics, there was one where you all, but yeah, you, you all. <laughs> Deanne is but right. Told me I was being a brat that was hard to swallow. Mm -hmm. So it's all about, you know, being free, mm -hmm. embracing truth, and walking in your truth, Deanne. And I'm sure you are better for it. We were mm -hmm. talking about for the vows. She said, poor Alan has had to deal with a lot of yes. my sickness. But the, the, the key word is had to deal. So mm -hmm. he was dealing with yes. it. He didn't leave her right. because she got sick. And I'm a, witness to, I'm a witness to that because I always used to tell her that God blessed her with a good husband because mm -hmm. Deanne has had a lot of sickness in her life and Alan has stepped up to the plate and he's taking good care of her when her mom and her parents were sick. Now he's taking care of his mom. And I told her that's a good indication of a good husband because if he's willing to take care of your family, right. then you know he's going to take care of you. Right. So he is a blessing to her. And I always used to tell her that. So, mm -hmm. so, so that means he didn't put her in a nursing home. No, he didn't put her in a nursing home because okay. he could have. Yeah, yeah, because so many do. Oh, yeah. So well, he could have got sick and tired of her being sick. Right. And gone on about his business. That's but he right. Didn't. But he mm -hmm. did. But so many have. Oh, now, yes. if we talk about you, we talk about you. That's it. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Just just walk in your truth and, and just, you know, come mm -hmm. on and, and get better and do better and be better. So, what's your thoughts on him this way? Sway. <laughs> Being married, I've never been married. Mm -hmm. I've been around married people mm -hmm. and separated people. Mm -hmm. But I do believe you are married for better and worse. To be married in your purpose, you have to live with your purpose. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. You do. You do. You yeah, do. because that's the, when you, you come into a marriage, you're already coming into the marriage as two separate individuals mm -hmm. trying to come together to be one. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know your purpose and he don't know his purpose, then y'all already coming with a crack foundation. That's right. So you're coming in with chaos in the beginning. So now you're trying to sort out who you are and, mm -hmm. and sort out who he is. And y'all trying to bring the family together. And now you, you're going through the issues of bumping heads. And now you're like, I don't know about this better or worse. 
right. whether it's richer for poor. And richer for poor ain't just about your finances. That's richer right. for poor in spirit. That's right. Because, you Come know, when you it. talk about coming in and you're unequally yoked mm. and one is a believer and one is a non-believer, mm. you still got to worry about, you know, y'all coming together spiritually and becoming wealthy, mm -hmm. knowing who God is and within itself. So, yeah. You better know what those vows are. That's why I say it's not for a man to enter into it lightly. That's because, right. you know, you coming in, it's easy getting in, but it's hard getting out. Yeah, you better talk <laughs> about that right there. Yes, it's hard getting out. Where, where are the mm. people out there that saying that they want to get married because they are tired of being alone? Oh, yeah. Raise your hand. Mm. I know, I know, I know you. I know I can't see you. But don't you but know I you know can be you married and still be alone, girl? You better take mm. stop, stop taking the words. I'm out sorry, but you can't. Absolutely, mm -hmm. you can be married and be alone. Mm -hmm. You can be married and be lonely. Yes, you can be married and it feels as if you are single. Mm -hmm. I know married people who wish they were single. single. I know single, single people who wish, wish they were married. married. You know, mm -hmm. some of them want to get married because they don't want to um, defy their body. But don't you know that in a marriage, you're saying you're sexually frustrated because mm. you're not married. Don't you know that you can be sexually frustrated in your mm -hmm. marriage? And um, Deanne made a good point. She said with her husband that, you know, he um, has seen a lot of examples of when relationships didn't work. His dad was married three times and his mama too. So that too mm -hmm. is going to make you work even harder because for one, you try not to repeat the cycle. That's right. And you want to make sure that your cycle is not repeated with your kids because right. your kids learn how to be married based on what you do. So That's if right. you in a marriage and your first uh, rule of escape when problems come is I'm running, I'm going to separate, I'm going to divorce, mm -hmm. I'm going to leave, and then you wonder why your kids' relationships don't work. Right. So I can say for me, for my my mom, them, you know, we didn't see them argue. And I know they did because it's unrealistic for us to think that they didn't. But I never saw them disrespect each other. I saw them praying and they made sure that we was brought up in, in the church. So we knew how to deal with, you know, that. And I, and I saw right. them love each other. So that was a good example for me that that's what I what had as a blueprint for my marriage right. is that I want this to be the same as what they had and they had God, how many years of marriage? 40 years. 40 years of marriage. 40 years. Yes, and I know I want all peaches and cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. But thank God they ain't let us see the cream. <laughs> Because some people do. They get to see the peaches, the cream, the cuts, the bruises, and everything else. And I thank God that they sheltered us from that. That's right. And and probably um, now we can tie in that role reversal. Role reversal. When we talk about your parents' marriage. Mm -hmm. Your mom knew her purpose in the yes. marriage mm -hmm. as well as your dad. True. But how many of us know that there are so many people who have reversed the roles between the husband and the wife? Oh, yes. But because we got the role reversal now, you got the, the, it, the Bible said that, that he that finds a wife finds a good thing and finds favor, mm -hmm. but is she out there looking now and then she's wondering why she can't find the, the husband that she need because now she wants the husband to be the helpmate and he's supposed to be the helpmate he's supposed to be the head come on and so now because you're out there searching these date apps and all these other swipe uh, left swipe yeah swipe, swipe right and that's why you can't get right what because you it? keep getting what's left right out there and so, wrong yes and wrong because yes, it's out and wrong. And wrong. And that's why you keep getting left. Because mm -hmm. you're going left. Left. That's why you keep getting left. left. <laughs> but see, when you do it in order, then God will make sure that you swipe right and you stay right. Come on. And you ain't got to worry about him going out there just looking for what they say, them little apps that they got, the Tinder. You ain't got to worry about him and just coming for Tinder. Right. Tinder is just for you to get a hookup, sleep together. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mom, that's the new. But not find you on Tinder. But anywho. <laughs> She better not. I know that's right. <laughs> but I then, know you know, right. society will even dress that up and get you um, on them other sites like mm -hmm. ChristianMingle.com. Christian What's that mm -hmm. about? Now, is, that, is that biblical? Um, they still hooking up on those, too? Because, you know, I look at it like this. When God, you know, told man, you know, that he could find us a wife, find us a good thing, mm -hmm. that means he gave man the right choose to find right. what it is. And so when you're talking about the role, 
particular person. Mm -hmm. He didn't give us the tools, you know, to go out and find right, them. right. Oh, that's that's not the orderly way. Mm -hmm. So that's why we found so many breakdowns because mm -hmm. we out there hunting without a gun. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. oh, right. So you picked up the wrong Ooh. thing. You picked up the wrong friend. Right. And I'm glad. I'm glad you said that. Yeah, because I always yeah. like to use the analogy of the deer hunter yeah. when it comes to mates. You know, because mm -hmm. a deer hunter, what he would do, he would prepare himself mm -hmm. for the hunt. Yes. He know that he can't smell like himself. He can't look like himself. Right. And he's learning how to have patience, patience. Right. Yeah. because he know he got to stay up there if it takes him all day for That's him right. to get the prize. But what we'll do at the as the deer, we won't be by the Brook being innocent mm -hmm. and trying to drink the water, we'll get out there and be roadkill mm -hmm. and get hit by the car where Come he on. ain't got to put no effort in it no more. Come and on. then he got to sit sit up there dealing with a carcass that's smelling because now you don't know the value of who you are. So only thing he gonna do is chuck it on top of his truck and he ain't gonna put it on the mantle right. as a prize. And now what you do as the deer? Now you're gonna take the gun from the hunter and now you're gonna try to play his role. And then, too, you can't use the same gun. Oh, no. Say that again, Mama. You can't, you can't use the same gun and <laughs> kill a deer if you kill a bear. Mm. It takes more power to kill a bear than it does to kill a deer. Mm -hmm. So you got to know what weapon to use. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we as women, we have been given the right weapon. Sway, so sway, know how to her head. What God had already got in store for us. Mm -hmm. So if we use the wrong weapon, we're going to... Mm -hmm. Cause we gonna we gonna hook up with the wrong. So your weapon ain't your cleavage, right? Right. Your or weapon, your hips. yes, right. ain't that. Right. So that's what you're saying. Yeah. We're using a weapon of our skin and our flesh yeah. and not our spirit. Oh. And then you wonder why he ain't taking you home to mama. He taking you through the drive through at McDonald's. You're not using the okay. intelligence that God has put inside of us. Mm -hmm. That goes back to what we talked about, about having the spirit of a girlfriend compared to the spirit yeah. of a wife and the yeah. spirit of a boyfriend. Yeah. We talked about that. Yeah. yeah. One thing about it, you know. You should, well, I, 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 maybe I shouldn't say you should know. Mm -hmm. Our hope and our prayer is, is that you know that before the man comes into your life, that you are already a wife. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. That you have the character yes. and the attributes mm -hmm. of a wife mm -hmm. and not a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. And so many times I'm looking at women who say that they are wife material but you are exemplifying the attributes of a girlfriend mm -hmm. because you are not walking in a way your posture mm -hmm. let me say it like this your posture does not reflect the the value of mm -hmm. a wife mm -hmm. your posture reflects that of a woman who who is who ha, is finding herself mm -hmm. in the man mm -hmm. so your your identity is tied up in the man and that's why you're always left empty mm -hmm. that's why you're always left bankrupt we talked mm -hmm. about this before too that people are making more withdrawals from mm -hmm. you than, the than they are deposits mm -hmm. and the deposits that they are making into you are insufficient. Mm -hmm. They keep you wanting more. They keep you uh, having a mindset or a sense or a mm -hmm. spirit of void. That's why you right. need to know the difference of mm -hmm. when you find your mate through purpose compared to pleasure because pleasure is temporary. It is very temporary. It, it's not going to last long. It's we not. all know when that process happens. Mm -hmm. Right. It mm -hmm. might take you a little bit to get there, but that when you get when well, it's done, it's done. It ain't no long period of time. That's so it. that's why you got to know that, you know, when you're talking about looking for stuff in pleasure, then you're looking for, like you said, stuff based on your emotion. That's what right. he looked like. Right. What oh, he, he sounded like. Oh, Girl, he both yes. Yes. But he, he drives yes. a Mercedes. Yes. Oh, really? He drives a Maserati. But his spirit is ugly and nasty. And stank. <laughs> and stank. And stank. That's when he becomes the master manipulator. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> and use you until he can't, can't use, use you, you no anymore. more. Mm. Been there. Done that. Bought the t-shirt. And wrote the book. Wrote it. <laughs> you want an autograph copy? Yes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I mean, especially for 
young women. Yes. Young women. I mean, even some old seasoned women, too. Oh, I'm looking at some seasoned women, mm-hmm. and I'm saying mm-hmm. to myself, you really don't know who, know you, who are. you are. Mm-hmm. Because if you knew who you were, some things that you settle for, you mm-hmm. wouldn't settle for. Mm-hmm. Some things that you allow, you wouldn't allow. We were, I was talking to a young man the other day about role reversal mm-hmm. and how he has all, he has three of three needs. One for where he needs to lay his head. He has the other one for where he lays his head, if you know what I mean. And then he has one that financially supports him. Now, the one that financially supports him, he said he loves her. But the other two are just there for the other purpose. But I was like, how are you going to love her mm. for the financial part? Because now what you're mm. doing is that you're laying up here and you got daughters yourself, is what I told him. The mm. seeds that you sowing, you're sowing for your daughter's mm. future. So mm. somebody else got had a one and two year old daughter, just like your one two and two year old daughter, that now a man has come, come in and he's manipulating her and right. using her. So that same thing is going to happen to your daughter. Right. So how would you feel if your daughter came in with you mm, in the state that question. you're in. That's so his, his thing was, oh, don't make me start thinking about my daughter. Why not Why think not? about your daughter? Because you, you you're dealing doing this with somebody, with somebody else's daughter. daughter. Right. So now the role reversal, now you sitting up here laying in this girl house, ain't taking out no trash. You sitting up here laying pipe with her, but ain't taking care of your seed. And you taking money for her, and you ain't got no car. She can't even get a return and everything that she's been depositing in you. And all of that came down to the fact that he didn't, one, didn't know who he was. Didn't know who he was. And two, he had mama issues. Mm -hmm. So he had a a void and a a hole in his soul. Mm -hmm. And he didn't know who God was. And so because of all those factors, he was looking for love in all the wrong places. And he was Mm -hmm. putting chaos and damage on all these women. Then it made me go back and say, well, what's going on with these three women? He got babies by each and every one of them. He got a daughter by one, a daughter by the second one, and a, and a, a son by the other one. So I was like, where, where are you as a woman? And they got good jobs. Mm. Career jobs. So they sugar moms. They ain't hood rats. They sugar moms. No, they about, they young. But yeah. They sugar moms. But the thing is, he's not looking for a woman who, who uh, didn't have a good career. He's looking for a woman who don't know who she is. That's it. And because she That's didn't know it. who she was is why she paying for him. Can you say that again? She paying for him. How many? Now. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> now this is let's talk for real. Yes. Now let's how many how, how many of y'all out there paying paying for it? For pleasure, him? not purpose. And you know what I'm finding? Mm-hmm. It's just as many young women yes. paying for men mm-hmm. as there are old, old women. women. Mm-hmm. I don't know what these young boys doing out here, child. <laughs> That they ain't got to get me, no job. Let me tell you right now, they mm-hmm. don't have to buy no car. No. He drives a car. You And you sitting up there waiting for your ride. Let me tell you something. This young lady told me that she was seeing this young man. Mm. He he was driving her car out of state, out of town. He was making her rent a car. Oh. Now, I don't know about you, Trey, but Mama, Russell. forgive me. <laughs> but I don't know what he got, but I sure don't want none of that. No. Because she done lost all sense. Yes. Your, pay, your car, you make a payment for it. He ain't written a car for it. You know, the sad thing about it is mm-hmm. that these three women, Girl, I got the pain. Fear, they have a fear of being alone. Mm-hmm. So rather than to be alone, We'll put up with this junk. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, we have places that we put all our, our junk. Yes. We have a junk drawer. Yes. Keep safe drawer. Yes. You know, all kinds of drawers that we have. It's stuff that we, we really don't want to use everything. Yes. Right. We just throw it in the drawer. We just throw it in the drawer. We have junk drawer. That's mm-hmm. right. You know, and so what he's doing is taking mm-hmm. their goods, Ooh. putting it all in his junk drawer. Jesus. Mama, give me high five. <laughs> No, I have mercy. How many of y'all in a man's oh, junk drawer? Mm. You in his junk drawer? When he realized what he had in his junk drawer, mm. I didn't realize I had this in here. I didn't really didn't realize I had this much in here. Wow. So when he come to himself, he gonna see how he's treating these three ladies. 
and he and, and, and then when she had these treating these, these three ladies, then he can recognize some man gonna come along and treat my daughter the same way. Mm, mm, mm. What goes around always mm, mm, around. Mm, mm. and there you have it. And her mother lofted. Even when you're talking about the junk draw, if you go, everybody got Every, one. But when you go in there, you find stuff. More than one. You find stuff from 1975. Five, you man. find stuff that don't have a purpose. It yes. don't have a plan. It's just in, it's just in there. It's and just then some stuff you just need nothing. to throw it away. Yes. And every you now and then you go up. through and you'll clean it out. Yes. But guess what? It gets cluttered right, right back right. up. That's right. And that's the same thing that comes with relationships. Yes. A lot of us, like you said, our junk drawers, yeah, not just for people, but our own stuff that we need yeah. to clean out, and then we wonder why we can't get make room for nobody else to come in because we already got this mess that we need to clean up ourselves, that's and that's why you club. wind up punishing people for uh, other people's mistakes. That's right. Yeah. They, they mm. get punished for the crime of other people. Yeah. They didn't even commit the crime, and they get punished. Oh, that's, that's a that, good that's one, that right? Baggage. Yes, yes, it yes. Is, honey. yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. What you got, Sway Sway? Yes. Yes. That's right. Mm -hmm. As, <laughs> instead of right. dealing with the, the main junk, which is him. Right. Now you got to come and bring right that trip. mess to me. Because he's the main junk. Because he's the main junk. He's the, main he's junk. the reason why y'all ain't getting along. Right. And he ain't doing nothing but spewing venom and sending that thing from one house to the next house. And y'all out here fighting on, for a man in the street. And he done picked up somebody else. I mean, a man in the street, y'all. Come yes. on, we got to do better, people. Yes. We have got to do better. Now, listen. Yes. We are better than that. Mm -hmm. We are better than But that's what you that. do when you seek in pleasure and not As a purpose. purpose. You mm. are far for anything. Purpose won't make you make you let yourself be junk. No, 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 no. Because you see mm -hmm. your value and your worth, you won't do time wasters you when you are purpose. Yes. You right. won't let, yes, girl. Pleasure is a purpose robber. Yes, it right. is. Pleasure will steal your purpose. Mm. It will rob you of precious memories and moments mm. and days that you could be walking out your purpose. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. That's what pleasure will do. Mm -hmm. And then this is what will happen when you come to yourself. I could have had a B.A. And then this is another thing. <laughs> Sometimes when mm -hmm. you are so caught up in pleasure, when you come to yourself and realize that it's now about purpose, you will look at the joke and say, you know what? He mm. won't even my type. He won't even my type. I ain't know he had all those space between his teeth. He was the wrong shape. <laughs> he was the wrong size. I'm thinking he, 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 he ain't he, even he smart. Just five, four. You ain't smart. You ain't kind. And you ain't important. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying. Yes, that's right. Like you said, I'm years saying. ago, you wouldn't have realized that. You don't waste your time and your energy. Yes, and then you, you get mad at yourself. Yes. You know, you standing, look, look yourself in the mirror, and she, do you see value in yourself when you stand looking in the mirror? That's mm -hmm. it. That's and a good question. And if you don't see that value, mm -hmm. you stand and looking face to face at you, then you really, you must realize that nobody else sees it either. Right. right. But mm -hmm. you're the first one that you see your value through value of who you are. Mm -hmm. You know, it's good to have a good job and make yes. good money. But then making that good job, got that good job and making that good money, but you don't see yourself value. Mm -hmm. so right. You're just like a poor person don't have nothing. Ooh. You know? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> How many of us out here, it goes back to our next topic, what my mommy said. How many of us are dressed up out here, looking like money, walking like money, talking like money, like money, but we naked because we ain't got God. Right. Mm. And so when, mm. you, when you dress in a proper, when you dress, when you dress yourself in a proper, I'm not talking about the outward. Right. right. But I'm trying, when you dress yourself on the inside, Mm -hmm. You know, with all the necessary things that you that God had already put inside of you, recognize that it's already the inside mm -hmm. of you, then that will be truth to the outside. And that's yeah. when you'll so find that'll yeah. make you so that'll make you mm -hmm. not take 
just jump. That's yes. right. And make you not just accept just anything. That's mm -hmm. right. You know, and not only would you do that, but it also keep you from feeling like you're lonely and nobody cares about mm -hmm. you. That's right. You know, that's right. You can always look at it and say, well, I know one person that would never mm -hmm. let me down. Yes. Mm -hmm. always going to be there. Yes. I can always depend on him. I can always call him anytime, mm -hmm. day or night. You know, and without even sometimes even mm -hmm. open my mouth mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. my knee. Right. I can just look up and I know you're there. Yes. You already know what I need, so I'm going to thank you in advance. Yes. Clothing and mm -hmm. God on the inside to show you how you know to present mm -hmm. yourself before everybody else. And you attract what you are. So when you talk about on, dressing real. correctly, spiritual wise, yeah. then you're gonna attract a Boaz and not a jackass. There you go. Yes, or because nine ass. Yes. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yes, oh, yes. <laughs> When you know who, that's what he's gonna see, and they're gonna come yes. at you different. Because when a man know who, that you know who you are and you secure in who you are, yes. he ain't gonna step to you in a kind of way. He's gonna exactly. he gonna open the door for you. Right. He's gonna say, right. "Excuse me, ma'am, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said that. Right. Or, Let me make sure when I come to you, I come to you correct." correct. He ain't gonna come out of his mouth sideways because right. now your spirit man is clothing you and not your flesh. That's so right. then he's gonna see the value in who you are, that's and then he's gonna come to you like that. But when you out there and you don't know who you are and you yeah. showing everything from the rooter to the tutor and yeah. you ain't leaving nothing to the imagination that yeah. he, he already done undressed yeah. you without undressing you then that's how he gonna approach you exactly. he gonna approach you as a, t a a temporary fix for a permanent wife that he looking for that's right so he's just test driving you i was getting ready to say girl there it is again with the test drive because i was just getting ready. look he, he he trying to lease the vehicle Ooh, he ain't trying to, trying to purchase it because mm. some, some women, yes, I know, honey. Some women, even some men, some mm -hmm. men mm -hmm. are the same way. Yeah. And mm -hmm. God help them if both of them are dealing with <laughs> mommy or daddy. Oh, issues. yeah. So they buy you as is. Yes, as is. Damaged goods. Damaged goods. Mm. That's yes. right. And you can break and will. <laughs> At any time, Mama said that you can break, break down at any time. Mama said you can break down at any time. You could be going on traveling. What is that? Say that again, sway, sway. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. So you got to take, take it to the right shop. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing. Oh, you you know, go ahead, Mama. You know, and you don't take it to the the right shop. Mm -hmm. And they say nothing wrong with it. You know, and then you go and buy and then maybe after the 30 day lease, it's gone, <laughs> warranty is gone. Then you sit inside row somewhere where, where you should have taken it to the right yes. mechanic. You can't even get no tow girl. <laughs> that that's right. And so, and that's, that's what we, <sighs> you know, some women, they set themselves up, uh, you know, they look <laughs> outside, you know. And sometimes they look good on the inside. Mm -hmm. But then when they are purchased, <laughs> then he realized, I don't have nothing but a look. Ooh, Ooh, so what you just <laughs> said, Mama, was yeah. when you are going to get yourself a man, uh -huh. You need to take him to the dealership, which is God, uh -huh. and let him give it a, a, a what do you call an inspection? Yes. And when he inspected, it, yes. y'all got to follow the Carfax, right? And the Carfax is saying that he's not the one, yes. because he has mama issues, daddy issues, right. abandonment issues. Yes. he's mean. Yes. he's all these he's things. He's a manipulator. He's a manipulator. So then you would have got the Carfax, and you wouldn't have wasted your time. Right. You would have been right. able to. Yes, or you get, or you get him to say, you know, this is the one I have for you. Yeah. So now, like you said, you yeah, want this stuff out of box. You, and it won't depreciate okay. after you start having a relationship with him because you don't went to the right source. Right. So we, we, we as Mercedes and BMWs and Lamborghinis and all this good stuff. We, we, we don't want to take our Lamborghinis and our Mercedes to the Lamborghini and the Mercedes. We take them to the junkyard. We, we take them to the, the, the backyard tree, mechanic. The backyard, yeah, what they call the shade tree mechanic. Yeah. Ooh, and you don't know how expensive it is yeah. to get an oil change for a luxury car. 
Yeah. That's why everybody don't have a luxury car. Yeah. Because you gotta not only be able to pay your payment, but you gotta be able to take care of, like she said, the, the maintenance. maintenance. Yeah. And some of us don't do that with ourselves. We put ourselves up here as a Lamborghini and then take ourselves to the uh what is one of them look Fiat. Do they still make them? Yeah, not yeah. the Fiat, because they're a little expensive. What's the little bitty car? The little bitty one that used to be back in the day that I don't even make no more. Oh, you go. You go. You go. <laughs> you go, we all go. You go. So if you still got a Hugo out there, I'm sorry. I wasn't talking about your car per se. <laughs> but let me put that disclaimer out there because you right. been on, got mad because you said you talking about my ride, but I'm talking about your other ride. Right. The other Physical ride. Physical ride. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. This That's, is this good. Is good. You know, this, this is this is good discussion. My advice to the to the young three young ladies with the young man is, is spending their time and all that. You need to get rid of him. Mm. Y'all he's got he's giving all of y'all a 30 day note. Mm. They want to. But you know, you can't, they can't Ooh. get him. They, yeah, you know why they can't get rid of him? Wait. Because they are him. Yeah. He's broken and they broken. You attack, yeah. you attract what you are. Yeah. Mm. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. They need to get rid of that dirt they want. They need to go back to the, the manufacturer yeah. and see where they are damaged at and where yeah. they need to be fixed at and let him do the maintenance work on them and then they'll know how to trade his tail in. <laughs> But they too busy comparing mm -hmm. themselves with yes. the other. This the other woman, woman is comparing mm -hmm. herself with that other one. Mm -hmm. Asking the question, "What's wrong with me?" me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with you, other than you don't know who you are. And y'all have a common denominator, which is him. Which is him. <laughs> so if you want to know what's wrong with y'all, look at him. And thirty-day <laughs> <laughs> and apparently Ooh, yeah, reciprocity is not in effect. Ugh. He's he's <laughs> it, it's, you know he's giving he's giving and getting. Yes. He's yeah. giving. But he, he's driving the Mercedes he's driving the Bentley and he's driving yes. the Jaguar. That's what he's driving. That's what that's what they are. But right. yeah, you, you know, I I asked him, what are you, what what are you bringing to the table? What is your value? I can't wait to hear this. And you know what his response I was? I wait to hear this. I am, which is the pipe. That's all? You mean yeah. to tell me all That's you bring to the table is a pipe? That. So if your pipe ever get broken, you have nothing else to offer? Trio. And what you going to do when it get called? <laughs> Uh, but he said, I go to the clinic. That you already met half. Mm, mm, mm. He already bringing your babies. Real talk. <laughs> this is real <laughs> talk. About real issues with real people, and, and, and yeah. let's let's flip it so we don't want the the men the men to feel left out. Oh no, because we are equal opportunity. opportunity. Yeah. So we got some men out there too that don't understand the value of what they have, That's which is right. their wives. That's right. That's right. I can speak for me. That's right. I Tell can't it. speak for nobody else, but on, my husband somebody. had a good wife. Have he had somebody. a Lamborghini. He had a one of a kind, but that wasn't enough. He had to get him a sidecar <laughs> that couldn't take him anywhere, no had way. no discernment, had no nothing, and then the sidecar thought that they were going to replace the good car, and you couldn't replace the good car because you were just an Uber. <laughs> can, I, can I say this to you? For all of you mm. women out here <laughs> who are mm. dealing with a married man, oh my God, and you oh are God. actually thinking that he, gonna that leave. he is no, going I'm to leave his wife. Now, I'm not telling you mm. in all circumstances and in mm. all cases, mm. the man doesn't leave. Mm. But for the most part, no, he ain't going. He's not going anywhere, mm -hmm. baby. Because he understands where he's his not going rib anywhere. is. Yes, he's not going you know? anywhere. Yeah, he knows. He's not going anywhere. Mm. He's not going anywhere because the fact is he already knows what he already has. Mm -hmm. He don't know what he's going to become to get. Mm. You know. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you you know you 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 know you feeling that he's going to leave her. He already knows the dynamics about her. But, right. Yeah. And so he's, mm -hmm. he he just got you for the excitement mm -hmm. of getting to know. Who you are, and once he find out who you really are, 
Mm -hmm. And you, he gonna be out and you, you, you up the river with not a pound. Yeah, and then, you know, I had a conversation oh. with the lady, right? And she really said, you know, this was her third affair that she had so she was like the woman at the well <laughs> Jesus. where she had all these relationships and want none of them hers yeah. and i say yeah. what are you gonna do that one day this can be you which i'm talking about me where you're right. sitting in your happily ever after right. thinking that everything is perfect and you gotta hold be held accountable for what you your part that you played in the discretion in somebody else's marriage you didn't have a respect for what was going on so for one he already know that I'm starting this thing off with Shay. And right. it's a crack in this foundation. To be faithful to me. I know if I leave her, you ain't going to be faithful. Because look at what you're doing with me. Because the seeds that you sow do come back up. And if they do. And if they don't come back with you, they come back through your children. But, they but they're back. coming back. But they're coming back. So men out there who still don't know who they are, don't know what their book value is, don't know what they, they got to go through the main, same maintenance thing that we're talking about with women. You got to go back to the source, they which is God. Yeah, putting they yourself on discount. Yeah. You stay in the clearance section. <laughs> you never pull a price. There's mm -hmm. always a clearance section. You know, some people, the first place they go when they go in the clearance. store, they always go to the clearance section. That's me. They don't never ever think about buying the full price of anything. I got to mm. get it on sale. Cause we think we're saving ourselves something. We think we're saving ourselves something. We're getting a deal, right? But what you're getting is the regular price thing that's just been reduced in value. Cause that's what you're getting in these relationships. You're getting a reduced value. Because it's out of season. A lot of times, that's what happens. That's when they put things on sale when the Ooh. seasons change. So now you out. It's out of season. Out so, of season. See, mm. go ahead, girl. Mm. Y'all want to tag me about this? You know, <laughs> we can talk about out of season. Mm. You know, mm. what, wow. you, what you say, I do. You know, it's easy to get mm. into it, mm -hmm. but it's hard to get now. Mm -hmm. Now when you when you, when you figure out how to get out of it, 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 it you get out of it with a whole lot of bigger problems, mm -hmm. you know, that you had to deal with. Say, for instance, if you got children, then yep. now you got to pay child support, wife mm -hmm. support. Mm -hmm. You know, Spousal she done support. gone on with mm -hmm. somebody else, or he done gone on with somebody mm -hmm. else. You know, what well, used to be that the men had to pay that support. Now, now the women got yes. to pay Yes, role reversal. Yeah. yeah. And so you got to pay for that, that support. And mm -hmm. so, so it's always good is to study yourself long mm -hmm. and hard mm -hmm. before you jump into a relationship mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you don't want nobody mm -hmm. else to get it. And what? I don't want nobody else to get her. I don't want nobody else to get him. Mm -hmm. But then mm -hmm. it's always better to wait until you know for sure this is what going to be right for my life. And what's going to be beneficial <laughs> for my life. Mm -hmm. And what so man want a woman to take care of him anyway? He's not a man. That, that he's a want, male. Yeah, you're a male. He's a man. That he's you, a male. That you, that you, you say what, mom? Yes, he's I a mean, man. In some bridges. He is a yes. male. Say bridges. that again. Yes, sorry, sorry. Women that don't want a man to put that nothing to do at all. And that's because she ain't full of trusting me. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if she get out, she will fully trust him. She will want him to get out and get a job. My God, she will want him my to get out God. and bring something to the table, right and now. not do it all himself. Because while he, while you out there working, my, and my, he's my. at home, he could have somebody else coming in back. My, 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 and a and lot of times do. they do. They do. They do. So they using your house, yes, your house to do they mess, yes. Mm. You know, so it's just you don't look your eyes and see how what color it is. Before you see that it's not it's not a red car, this is mm. a black car. Mm. You know what I mean? My 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 my. I'm gonna drive. Oh. Now I'm tired of driving, so I ain't talking about you. But I, <laughs> and so I'm gonna just you know trade it in. You know, you know, I know. <laughs> you know, but it's gonna cost you. More. It's gonna cost you. Mm. Mm. That's right. Yeah. My, my, mm -hmm. my, 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 my. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so you know, take your time, mm -hmm. you know, and, 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 and stop. And get your mind off, I'm lonely. Yes. Me, right. Get your mind off, I'm lonely. I need right. 
Mm-hmm. We talked about the Bible says it's not good for man to live alone. Mm-hmm. But it's better for man to live alone and, 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 and be content than to, than to be in there and all chaos mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. no peace. No, and no peace. peace. My mm-hmm. God, my God. Have you ever been in a But we are we are sacrifice peace. our peace for a peace though. Yeah, but then how miserable are you? <laughs> but that we don't care because we're talking about pleasure versus purpose. And what we'll do, we'll take that peace. That's what them three women are doing. That's, they taking yeah. that peace. peace. Right. But have no peace. Right. They don't have peace. E-A-C-E. <laughs> they getting a P-I-E-C-E. Right. But they don't have P-E-A-C-E. Right. Woo. Peace. <laughs> Be still. <laughs> Y'all better catch it because it's hot off the press you today. You better catch that. It's, it's hot that. off the press today. And so, the we that know better, he that knows to do better mm-hmm. and do it not, you're going to be put with everything that he do to you. Mm-hmm. You know, a man, you're going to be put with everything that she do to you because mm-hmm. you don't have that peace on the inside. Mm-hmm. But when you get that peace on the inside, you're not going to tolerate a whole lot of this. Isn't it the truth, honey? Oh, tolerate. my God. Because this, this is not giving me no peace. Right. So now that peace, that the P-I-E-C-E, yeah, the P-I-E-C-E. has taken your peace P-I-E-C-E. and left you in pieces. <laughs> right. <laughs> Because that's when your brokenness comes. That's, that's when right. your tears come in. That's right. And that's when all that travail and coming. Why me, Lord? Why? Right. 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 Just right. take me now. Right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Behind peace. Right. Where did I contract that from? Mm-hmm. Where did I contract that from? Mm-hmm. From that man that got two other women? Or that woman that got two other men? Mm-hmm. So all these pieces together and you still ain't whole. And still right. fragmented. Right. Exactly. <laughs> it's, 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 not a, it's not even a full fragment. fabric. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. fragmented. Mm-hmm. That's you know, some good stuff. Mm-hmm. That's a whole bunch of soul ties. Soul ties. That's right, Tanya. Put the soul ties shout out. Right. Yes. A whole lot of soul ties. Yes. And that's what's that that is really what a lot of relationships are. Mm-hmm. So soul ties. ties. Mm-hmm. That's it. it There's I can't no do without him. In it. There's mm-hmm. no no, no I mean no substance in it. You ain't getting no benefits from it. Mm-hmm. It's costing you more Absolutely. than what you're putting in it. Absolutely. It's costing you to stand out there in that hot sun waiting for him to come pick you up because he got his boys in the car. It's costing you because he don't take you nowhere. Yeah, man, he don't come pick her up. Oh, he don't come pick her up? Mm-mm. She got to call her friend. A who? Uber. Uh, Uber? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bless your heart, girl. Yeah, or get a bus pass. <laughs> I mean, it, that's real. Mm-hmm. That's, That's real. real. That's real. Frustrated, irritated, aggravated. Let's talk about that for a second. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about that open relationship trend Mm. that we got right now. Mm. So Mm. now what you have been convinced to do Mm. by your peace, because they want to do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. So now they don't convince you that it's okay for us to have an open relationship. It's okay for you to see somebody else and I see somebody else Mm -hmm. too. As long as we don't want to quarrel with that. Yeah. We should be good. Uh-huh. But like she said, when you have a closed relationship, then you got to work a little bit harder. You got right. you got to deal with those vows and deal yeah. with all that other stuff. But an open relationship won't hold you responsible and accountable for what you do. Right. So that'll... Go ahead. All open relationships, there's some that want to smell people in the relationship. There's some that want to be real with each other. Mm-hmm. And that go out. But they'll settle. How 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 is it that as a wife, you or a husband, you okay with somebody else coming in and sleeping with your spouse? But they, they call it open, open relationship, relationship oh, yeah. but it's swinging too. You know, they say open mm. relationship. Mm. 
So when I say open relationship, that means that I'm going to do whatever I want to do behind your back. But mm. yet still, I'm still saying it's open. And don't we do that with God, though? Mm. Yeah. We got open relationship, swinging relationship with him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That we want to go and sleep around with the mm -hmm. enemy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we want to do what we big and bad enough to do. But then we want him to come back and consummate with us and give us what we need. Mm -hmm. yeah. We still want him to take care of us. We still want him to love on us. Mm -hmm. We still want him to provide for us. But yet we out there sleeping with the enemy. Mm -hmm. Same thing. <laughs> God want a close relationship. Right. And then looking like, well, what's wrong with it? Everything. Yeah. Everything. Mm -hmm. I suppose all your husband, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, you know, that's kind of like a tricky thing there. It's a marinade part, right? Yeah. Because sometimes. If you don't have the right thing inside of you, Ooh. it's going to be difficult for you to honor him. You better go ahead. Because what, what, That's what right. you're going to do, because you don't have the right thing in you, mm -hmm. what he do to me, I'm going to do to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But when you got the right, right thing inside of you, yes. regardless of whether he do you right or not, you're going to do good Ooh, toward him. You're right about that. Because you know that what the word had already told you by doing so, you put coals of fire on his head. Mm -hmm. In other words, it'll make it difficult for him to do you wrong mm -hmm. when you are doing him right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, he might struggle with it, mm -hmm. you know, but still it, it'll make him, you know, uh, miserable when he do you wrong mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you are treating him so right. Mm -hmm. You know, so I I, I know that it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big win and, 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 and treating somebody right, whether they treat you right or not. Mm -hmm. Because they the one got to give an account for the thing that they do to you. Mm -hmm. Right. And you don't have to give it, and, 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 and it will keep you from being a, a, responsible for mm -hmm. doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. So in mm -hmm. order for you to be blessed, <laughs> you do the right thing. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ooh, it hurt, mm -hmm. but do the right thing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Do the right thing. Yeah, you have it. It hurts. Mm -hmm. It's going to hurt. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. yeah, but you got to love God more than you love their actions yeah. and love them. Yeah. Because, you know, at the end of the day, like you said, the only person you can be accountable for is you. you. You can't be accountable for what they do, but what That's we'll do, right. we'll try to sit there and make them be what we think they should be, right. but yet we ain't doing what we're supposed to do for God. Exactly. So, yeah, God will take relationships to show us about our relationship with him. Yeah. Yes, he will. So, don't get mad and salty. Right. I mean, you know. And if mm -hmm. any parts of our uh, broadcast today hit you, just Say walk out. in your truth. Just walk in your mm -hmm. truth. We all have to walk in our truth, and it don't feel good. Mm -hmm. But it's good for you. What the old folks say is bitter going down, but it's, it's sweet, sweet to, to the, the belly. That's right. It's sweet to mm -hmm. the belly. Well, I tell you, we are excited about being with you yeah. guys for a year. Trill mm -hmm. and I are celebrating one year of broadcasting live on Facebook. Yes. Let's talk for real with Shay and Trill. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we want to, I don't know if you want to do that yet, to recognize our, our, our person. Yeah. This, this person here was our first viewer. Yeah. And they have been our first viewer to get on since day one. They have supported every move that we've made. Yeah. They've given us ideas yes. on how to make it better. They showed us how to upload our stuff on YouTube. Yes. They uh had always been supportive to us. Yes. And we want to recognize we do. our girl Tanya Devon. Come on, Tanya. Come Devon. on, Tanya. First thing, the first that person pops up, Tanya, Tanya Devon. Devon. When we went to YouTube, the first person popped up, Tanya, Tanya Devon. Devon. And I'm not saying that we don't have some uh, other faithful, faithful viewers yes. out there or but subscribers, we, or subscribers but we just wanted to recognize her because she was our ride or die. She yeah. was there from the very beginning yes. when we first birthed this baby out. Yeah. She was there. And so we wanted to recognize her on today. Which model you want? You have the white way to go. Okay. So she's going to select the white. Yeah, so we're going to present let, her. Let me hold it because Trill. I don't know Trill. how to do it. Trill, Trill, Trill won't do it right. 
Yeah, we wanted to bless her with the t-shirt too, but because she's such a sewer, she wanted she refused to take the t-shirt, so she wanted to contribute and sew into the ministry that God has given us. So we still wanted to be a blessing to her. Yeah. So we want to give her that. Thank I want you, to present ladies. this to you, Tony. Thank, Thank you so much you. for your support. You're welcome. You got all your love. Let's talk for real with Shay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tanya. That's awesome. Yes. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And so we have some other subscribers, too, yes. um, on YouTube. And we do just want to say mm -hmm. we appreciate you guys for supporting us. Yes. Just, you know, stay tuned. We got some things that we're trying to mm -hmm. upload. YouTube has changed the settings a bit. So yes. we're trying to make sure that we mm -hmm. um, comply with the settings that they have um, mm -hmm. put on us. So now we're going to. Give us a minute. We're going to load up some mm. more videos. We want to recognize our guests that came on. Yes. Uh, Pastor Sean Singleton, Pastor Jamal Brown, mm -hmm. Ashley Gurley, Stephanie Shell, Steph, yes. Michelle Hayes. Yes. Uh, um, Nicole, Nicole Pickett, Pickett that Jackson. came on. Um, Melissa. Melissa. Lyle. Lyle. Yes. Uh, uh, who, else? who else we had? Is that everybody? Is that everybody? My our two special guests today. today yes. My sister Selena Deloach. Yes, although she was there on. and she was silently blinking. Right, right, right. <laughs> because right. she got camera shot at the yes. end of the thing. But yes. yet she was up there too as a one of our guests. But she was. She was not a talk of the guest. Because <laughs> she was scared, bless her heart. But we want to send a shout out to her too. Yeah. Um, trying to think. Anybody else we pulled in? Um, I don't think we did. Okay, my um, uh, my cousin Terrence Lawton, um, because he wanted to invite us to come down to do a, a podcast on his broadcast. Um, um, anybody else? My husband's cousin Rodney, but uh, I can't think of Murph's Murph's lab. We call him Murph. But I want to thank him because he turned us on to the YouTube idea yes, and did. on um, the yeah. logo, how to get started on that. Yeah. Oh, we can't uh, miss um, T-shirts. T-shirts. Uh, Yolanda, Yolanda. Yolanda Williams. Mm -hmm. She created our very first T-shirt. Yes, our oh, very first time. one. Yes. yes, this is our very first very one. T-shirt. And then we got Nicole mm -hmm. Mitchell, who yes. is doing an awesome job for yes. us now. With our T-shirts. With our T-shirts. All about swag. Yeah. R.K. Watson. Yes, okay. yeah. R.K. R.K. Sure if you got time out. Because he hunted me down for that T-shirt yes. for him and his daughter. He stalked me, people. Yeah. And I'm like, really? And he said, like, I want my shirt. I got to represent. I got to yes. represent for the men. So thank him for doing that. Um, yes. Uh, we start naming names. We're gonna have to name everybody. Yes, but yeah, yeah, but um, Rhonda. Yeah, for tuning in. Um, every week. Yeah. yeah, everybody. <laughs> everybody. Because everybody. I'm telling you, it has been an awesome year. And if we didn't say your name, don't think that we still didn't recognize all oh, that you've sure done or appreciated right. it for every uh, comment that you had, yes. every idea that you put out there, yes. all the hearts and the laughs, yes. and, and mainly for singing our song. I'm yes. in my office sometimes and somebody can say, it's Friday, and I hear somebody in the background say, say you, you know, know the, the deal. deal. Yes. So, yeah, so that and, song has got, yeah. Our song is universal. It's universal. So everybody singing, let's talk about yes. Yes. I'm telling you, that yes. is a blessing. Our pop ups we done recently, the yes. sisters we met from Winston Salem. Yeah. Uh, we want to, yes. 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 So we want to start doing some pop ups out here. Yeah. You never know when you might see us, That's you know. Right. But um, just come sometimes if you want to come to the table, just come to the table. If you want to, um, Get any ideas out there, you're more than welcome to do it. Y'all better yeah. get us now because when we get syndicated and get out there, we're still going to love y'all and invite y'all in because y'all going to be in the audience when we get started. And we're going to make sure y'all get back pass, uh, backstage passes yes. and everything. All that. Because y'all were there from the beginning. Yes. So, yes, shout out to y'all. I love y'all. We love you. We love you. Anything y'all want to say? Uh huh. <laughs> Thanks, Way. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Okay. Ooh, all right. Mm -hmm. Technology. And the only thing I want to say is most of the topics that they have discussed, uh, this 
entire year. Don't take it lightly. Mm. You know, uh, take it to heart. You know, and just use your mirror every day because you have to use it anyway to get yourself all dotted up and <laughs> up. No, right, so just use the mirror, you know, every day. And when you look in it, just remember some of the talk that they, they, they talked about, mm -hmm. you know, and you'll find out that your life will go uh, yeah. much better. Okay, mm -hmm. and 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 it, it's that stuck in my spirit about the three ladies, you know, recognize that you are a real person and not just you. Mm -hmm. That's right. And it's just not Amen. for those three ladies, but for every yeah. woman out yes. there and every man yes. out there yes. who don't know their value and their worth. Yes. And you can get us on, um, follow us on Let's Talk For Real with Shay and Trill on our Facebook page on our YouTube channel, hopefully coming soon on podcast. Yes. Pre-order your t-shirts. That's right. We have the microphone. Mm -hmm. So just in case you want to go bling bling and your husband go plain plain, but y'all bling bling together so y'all can do yep. that. People that still dress are like this couple. Yes. <laughs> So we got our t-shirts, we got our water bottles, we got our coffee mugs coming, and some other stuff that's in the making. So yeah. pre-order. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Thank you, guys. We love you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for helping us celebrate our Yay! first year of Let's Talk the Real with Shay and Cheryl. Yes, yes, And yes. you know what? I, I want to say to you, though. You know, I, God couldn't have blessed me with a better person to do this with. Because, you know, when, as women, it's hard for us to allow another person gift to shine without jealousy, envy, and strife coming yeah. in. But yeah. I can say thank you that we are on one accord because this is topics I might be thinking about that she'll say, okay, that's what I've been thinking about. Even when it comes to eye attire, we've yeah. been thinking about, you know, that. And I know that the enemy is angry and yes. upset about that because, you know, sometimes when you you when God has a, a ministry and a purpose so uh, as great as ours, that yeah. he'll come in and try to sow seeds of discord. Right. But I can say for her this whole year and years before that, that she has been a blessing and an addition to my life. And she has been honest with me and she has spoken into my, my life and she has made a difference in my life. So I can say that I, I've seen your walk. I know your walk and I value everything that you do. And I know that greatness is in store for the both of us. Amen. And I told her years ago, we got to do ministry together. Yeah. I don't care did. what we do as, yeah. uh, on our one-on-one, -on -one, but we God got some ministry for us to do yeah. together. And this is the platform that he chose for us. Yeah. And I thank you for being so gracious and accepting that and for being my ride or die. <laughs> Cut them up if she got to. <laughs> my bust them in the eye, sis. Yes. You know, I yes. thank God yes. for yes. you, girl. Thank so I had to say you that. Too. You know. Thank God for you, too. Mm -hmm. And I just say, ditto right back to you. All right. Ditto right back to you, <laughs> oh my God, because I'm telling you, we have covered some topics. Yes. We have done some crazy ministry together. I've seen the Lord do some amazing, oh, yes. and some incredible things, mm -hmm. not just in the lives of others, yes. but in our very own lives. Mm -hmm. You are looking at two women of God that have been transformed by the power of God. Yes. And we are excited about what is ahead and what mm -hmm. God is, is sending us to what he's calling us from, but what he's mm -hmm. also calling us to. And I hope we inspire other women yes, and men absolutely. out there to step out on yeah. our social media yeah. and use it for a good for good yeah because we see enough negativity and enough killings and all this other stuff that's going out there but we don't see enough edification about who god is and what god is capable of doing so if god has that platform ministry in you guys step out on be scared to use your that's voice right. because right. the enemy is trying to take our voice from us and there's power and connecting and unifying ourselves that's and getting right. this word out that you know you can't do this thing that's and right. you're not by yourself that's right so last thing um <laughs> on my day job we just hired a, a training specialist Her name is lavonda michelle williams all right l michelle we just talked about using <laughs> social media do your videos do your you, voice boo. is important mm -hmm. do your videos people need to hear from yeah. So we want to encourage Tanya, you to thank you for that. our gift. Yes, I'll yes. tell you that. Yes. It makes 
Yes, we got everybody in, and we, yes, we don't she have said to she didn't want us to be on top of each other. Out. Yes, I love it. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much. Well, it's Saturday, people. You know the deal. It's Saturday. You know the deal. It's Saturday. So can we talk for real? It's Saturday. So let's talk. Let's talk for real. Let's talk with Shay and Trill. Let's talk. Let's talk for real. Let's talk. Let's talk for real. Gouda. Yes. Love you guys. Got that song. I right. know, right? <laughs> Love y'all. Love you. See you next Love week. Love your families. Have yes. a great weekend. Bye-bye now. Bye. <laughs>